I guess what inspired me was the fact that I could, that the opportunity arose and it was something that was, was there for the taking. And I thought this opportunity has presented itself to me. How can I say no? Um, I, I didn't ever, like in my wildest dreams, think that I would end up being a rabbi. This opportunity kind of came along as a result of a holiday to Disneyland. Okay. So yeah, we, we went on a, a holiday to Disneyland and I saw that at the same time that we were on this holiday in, in Disneyland, there was a conference on in New York that was run by the Jewish Orthodox Feminist Alliance. And I thought, well, we've traveled halfway across the world. Uh, I'm already, you know, I'm almost there. So I took 24 hours out of the holiday and left my husband with the, with the children. And I uh, crossed the continent to New York and went to the Joffa conference. And um, I was really inspired at that conference. Um, so there were various speakers who were women who had um, obtained smicha, who yep. spoke. And um, as a result of that, I was encouraged by one of those women to, um, to go down this path. It was a three year course and it was done remotely so most of the classes were done like we're doing now via zoom and and then i traveled into new york twice a year for a winter and a summer intensive then during the year i had uh, classes that i attended i so what we studied was gemara and then uh, there was a halacha shiur and then there also was like leadership and innovation and a pastoral Torah track. So the aim of was to um, get us to attain a level of mastery or skill over ancient Jewish texts and also be able to apply the principles that we've learned in um, contemporary scenarios. And on top of that, uh, I think Maharat really wants to equip women to be leaders in the 21st century and to face the challenges um, that, that we are all facing in our community and be able to respond with empathy and, and appropriately and also halachically. So I had to adjust my clock to New York time which actually worked out quite well because the, my classes were in the afternoon so I, I usually get up at about, it's the classes can be depending on what the time zone is, about 4.30, 5 o'clock. Okay. I do the classes in the morning, get the kids ready for school, and then go off and do a full day's worth of work, and then come home in the evenings and prepare for the class the next day. Uh, and I guess what kind of kept me going was, well, the enjoyment that I was getting from learning. And... Also, it was a very supportive environment. So the women that I was learning with were very supportive. And I've made, I think, lifelong friendships throughout doing this course. Um, right. What was amazing was to be studying with you know, women who were passionate and committed to Judaism, but also had a critical eye. Yeah. Um, there's quite a lot of, uh, I guess, stress leading up to the... The, the final exam, so um, relieved and also very excited um, at the at the opportunities that um, this brings to to teach and to bring people closer to to Judaism and connect and to inspire people. Basically, the idea of smicha is that it it gives you halachic authority yeah. to answer questions that may come up for people. So um, I, I guess the way I would use it is, I'll give you the analogy. I'm, I work in my day job, I work at Legal Aid New South Wales, and I work in the area of access to justice. And particularly looking at uh, using human-centered design to design services for socially and economically disadvantaged people. So it's about trying to get people access to the law. So I see what I am doing uh, with this 
uh, with, with the, the course that I'm doing and the opportunities that I have as really opportunities to increase access to Jewish law. I've always thought that there are um, many opportunities within Orthodox Ju Judaism for women to participate and to lead a very full spiritual life. And um, particularly in the areas of, of learning. Um, and so what I would say is, you know, use my example as um, one to, to learn. To, to keep learning. Okay. Keep learning, try something new, explore all, you know, opportun all, all opportunities to, to get involved. I guess that I just, I want to be a resource for the, for the community to help people connect and connect meaningfully and be inspired by Judaism.